an artist. Now what? So, so that's uh, those times. Like, um, what kind of uh, timeline did he put you on? Did, did he get, was it, you know, you know the classic classic tales? But I'd love yeah. to hear your perspective for sure. <laughs> so, I I came in with my own perceived notion based on the information I'd gotten from my 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 the questions I was asking at the Dallas cons, the conversations I was eavesdropping on at, at, at Dallas Comic Cons. You know, I see some pros talking at a table and I just kind of hang out waiting in line for an aut autograph and they're like, what are they talking? What's this Jim Lee guy talking about? I want to I want to I want to, you know, learn, you know, they're, they're giving out the industry secrets and I, I, I want to hear this. And I overheard someone say, I do not remember who said this. I don't even know if they worked for Marvel, but they said, John Byrne says the Marvel rule is two pages a day. Wow. <laughs> Clear as day. That's why I heard this. And I took it as gospel. It's like, if that's what John Byrne says, that's what I'll do. It's got to be. <laughs> so I trained myself to do two pages a day. Yeah, so when I awesome. get to Extreme Studios and and you know the editor Eric Stevenson gives me my first Bad Rock script, it's like it's go time, and I start doing two pages a day. And Rob's like, "What?" You know, it's just like, <laughs> "Yeah, this kid is churning out pages like right and left." It's like he it, it, he he was shocked. He was shocked that I was doing getting a book penciled in two weeks. Right. And, yeah. uh, so they started giving me if, if a book was late, give it to Todd. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> you were the I started betting clean up on a lot of on yeah, a lot of titles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. That perception that uh, you had to do two pages a day. How much did that help you in, in terms of your work ethic and how that 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 kind of helped you with the way you work today? You know. Yeah, it helped me immensely because I, you know, I thought if that's the level I have to be to work at Marvel, that's that's I, I want to be there. I want to be at Marvel. I want to be a anything as close to to what John Byrne has has done. And I'm still yet to hit that John Byrne level. But you know, it's just I, it gave me focus. It gets like okay, this is what I got to do. And so um, a lot of guys, a lot, a lot of young artists, you know, they 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 get real good and then they have to build their speed up. For me, I think I built my speed up. And then the quality had to climb mm -hmm. to match it. But you know, I could get the job done. And and sometimes it's the spark in the art. There's that that energy inside the art. So maybe sometimes maybe my art wasn't the prettiest, but there was a spark that had editors and publishers that they saw something that they wanted from me. And so I kept working on trying to I went I tried to go from that ugly duckling to the swan, you know. So uh yeah. Uh, but I was a very fast ugly duckling. This ugly <laughs> duckling can get the job done. Right. So, uh, so I feel I've moved more into a swan stage than that yeah. ugly duckling I was, you know, 30 years ago. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, so if someone told you, if if you heard, oh, it's a page a day, do you think that would have changed the outlook of your career? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Well, um, you know, well, I would have focused on getting one page a day, and and um, you know, I probably if I was just doing a page day, maybe the, the ugly duckling would have become the swan sooner. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <maybe. laughs> but, but, but the, that, that, that swan would be moving at a page a day. <laughs> right. Yeah. right. It would be a moderately, moderately paced swan. <laughs> there, um, there you go. There you go. So, you know, it's, it's, and that's the interesting thing. Uh, we, and, and another thing I would say to, to young Todd or young artists is, um, and this was one of the biggest lessons I learned back in my early 30s was stop comparing my work to other artists mm -hmm. yeah. because yeah. I have my own experiences and resources and opportunities just as you have your own experiences, resources and opportunities that has shaped us as artists that are shaping them as artists. That's their own uh, resources and opportunities. So for me, I, I heard, overheard two pages a day that that thrust me into a path, a trajectory that I ran with and I and I zigzagged this way and you learned your things and you zigzagged your way and, and everyone's going to zig and zag. I don't think any of us walk a straight line in our journey. We're twisting and turning and you just never know what's around that bend that challenges us and 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 shapes us and, and moves us to another level that makes us all different artists. And that's what I love about it because it's all different styles and all different things to see. I love a variety of different styles. So when I learned to stop comparing my work to Jim Lee or uh, J. Scott Campbell or Arthur Adams or or Mark Silvestri or name any other artist that's out there, I could easily compare my work to theirs and be dejected and feel like, oh, I suck. They're awesome. Why do I try? And but you know, I still love to draw, so I'd still kind of fight through that. When I learned to like 
leave that baggage behind. And it's like, I'll compare my artwork to what I did yesterday. Is what I drew today maybe just a little bit better than what I did yesterday? Or at least on the same par of what I did yesterday? Cool. I still love to look at Jim Lee and J. Scott Campbell and Arthur Adams and Mark Silvestri art and all the other thousand people I follow on Instagram. I still, you know, love the seeing their art and it, I'm just like, I let that inspire me to go do artwork, not go, they're awesome, I suck. And I can still slip into that because I'm a human being and, we, and we're all going to struggle as human beings with positive and negative feelings. But the sooner I can take hold of negative feelings and, and uh, or thoughts and, and, and aim towards the positive, like keep on drawing, keep having fun, I find my day goes better, the artwork goes better, and I'm happier with how, how the day went than if I just sit there and beat myself over the head going, why aren't you Jim Lee? It's like, we don't need another Jim Lee. We have one. His name's Jim Lee. Right. We need a Todd Knock. We need a James Rice. We need, we need all sorts of different voices. So we have all sorts of flavors out there. Right on.